Can I see what you got there? I know you? Not that I can say. And you want to hold my peace? Just that I never, uh, seen one like it. No, you haven't. Looks dangerous. Seems. Maybe that's the point. Suppose so. Can I see it? Not likely. Where'd, uh, where'd you find it? You hear me? He asked you a question. I didn't find it, made it. Ha! Hell of a touch you got there. You a smith? Do I look like a smith to you? Well, looks can be deceiving. Got that right. Is there a problem? Doesn't need to be. Alright, now about that piece. Been to Lunar? Excuse me? The moon. You been? Nobody's been. That a truth? That's a fact. Funny you'd make that distinction. Truth is, you must think you're some kind of something special. The way you're just dismissing us like we're nothing. Like we ain't even here. Fact is, you ain't as near rock solid as you figure. Fact is, special's only special till it's not. Bones say otherwise. Speak straight. You say nobody. Bones say otherwise. What bones? All of them. What are you getting at? Too many to count. You trying to get a rile out of us? I was only making conversation. You really weren't. Oh, we got a smart one here. Experienced more than smart. But experience has its advantages. Experience tell you to lip off strangers just trying to make talk? Keep insisting, and maybe we will. What? Talk? Have words. Ain't that what we're doing? My conversations tend to be a bit... louder. That a threat? A truth. Who the hell you think you are? According to your facts, nobody. But here I stand. Don't matter much how pretty your cannon is. You keep it up, we'll see just how loud you like to get. You done talking now? Guess he knows his place, boys. Ever have a nightmare? You playing games or just thick? I know you have. This world can't help but. I don't have nightmares. I give them. You are a goddamn cliché. The picture-perfect bandit. Hearing your voice. The things you're saying. The shade of the hard man you pretend to be. I ain't no shade! Sit. Down. No. Listen, listen! This is what happens when you bore me. And right now, I am so very bored. But, but, you're one of them. A guardian, right? You're supposed to be one of the good ones. Supposed to be? Maybe I am. Maybe this is what good looks like. Anymore, who can tell? I... No. No, no. Whimpering won't stop what comes next. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at it. Not many get such a clean view. The bone. You see it, jagged like thorns. I used to think of it as a rose, focusing on its bloom. But the bloom is just a byproduct of its anger. You have nightmares. 
Ever seen a nightmare? Ever opened your eyes and realized the horror wasn't a dream? The terror wasn't gone. I've seen nightmares. They live in the shadows. They've been watching. I thought, it's foolish I know, but I thought I saw a way that maybe we could win, maybe we could survive. But once you step into those shadows, it's so very hard to walk in the light. Or maybe I just wasn't strong enough. Maybe. But I feel strong now. I stole the dark. Or maybe it stole me. Either way, here we are. And I'm hungry. It's hungry. You have no light beyond the spark of your pathetic life, but a spark is something. Open your eyes. Ghost, begin new fragment. Shin, for what purpose? People will need to know what really happened here. I'm writing this from memory. Some mine, but not all. The facts won't sync with the reality, but they'll be close, and there's no one to say otherwise. So for all intents and purposes, this will be the history of a settlement we call Palamon, and the horrors that followed an all-too-brief peace. I remember home, and the stories of a paradise we would all get to see someday. A city shining even in the night. Palamon didn't shine, but it was sanctuary of a sort. Sometimes we would talk about moving on, striking out for the shining city, but it was just a longing. We had no real government, just a rule of law. Basic regulations agreed on by all. Eventually they would be overseen by Magistrate Loki. I remember him as a hard-working man who just became broken. Mostly, I think he was sad. Sad and frightened. As his grip tightened on Palamint, people left. Those who stayed saw our days became gray. Loken's protection from bandits, from fallen, from ourselves became dictatorial. And there you have it. No government until there was. I was young, so I barely understood. Looking back, I think Loken had lost just too much. Of himself, his family, but everyone lost something. And some of us had nothing to begin with. My only memory of my parents was a haze, like a daydream, and a small light, like the spark of their souls. They left me early, taken by dregs. It's not anything I dwell on. Palamint would raise me from there. A people I call my own, called my own. They cared for me like I was their natural born son. And life was good. Being the only life I knew, my judgment was skewed. But I would call it good until of course it wasn't. Until two men entered my world. One of light, the other the darkest shadow I would ever know. All name and reason for being here. 
Jaron Ward just passing through. The man I knew is Jaron Ward, my third father and quite possibly my closest friend. I've never seen anything like him. Maybe none of us have. At the time he said he was only passing through, and I believed him. Still do. But life can get in the way of intent, and often does. This man was dangerous, but there was a light about him. A pureness to his weight that seemed to hint that his iron was something earned, not carelessly given. As we waited for Magistrate Loken to arrive and make an official greeting, my patience got the best of me. I can picture the day with near perfect clarity. The memory that sticks in my mind though, is the iron on Jaren's hip. A cannon that looked both pristine and lived in. Like a relic of every battle he'd ever fought. Hung low at his waist. I imagine all the places the weapon had been. All the wonders it had seen. The horrors it had endured. My imagination darted from one heroic act to the next that I barely registered when he kneeled down. holding out the iron as if it were an offering. I couldn't see his eyes, but I could feel them staring into my soul. I took the weapon, carefully, gently, not to use, but to observe. Not to keep, but to satisfy my curiosity. To imagine, to feel its weight and know its truth. That was the first time I held that sidearm, but unfortunately, not the last. Sorry, young man, but do you think I could have that back for a moment? Thanks, kid. Now get someplace safe. This is Jaron Ward. The finest hunter this system may ever know, and one of the greatest guardians to ever defend. You are not always this man. True. Then the math says you do not need to remain this man. You can be other. I am other. You can be better. This is better. That matter, at best, is subjective. Then what? Lesser? Some would say. But what would you say? All we've seen and now, here with me, you have no words. I have words. But? You will not like them. There is much I do not like. More now than ever, it would seem. <laughs> I find no laughing matter in your path. You were a hero. And yet people still die. Corruption still exists. Light still fades. And darkness still spreads. As it will ever be. That doesn't mean you give in to. To what? Hope? This is not hope. This is peace. You have blood on your hands. How's that any different than prior? Innocent blood. Matter of perspective. That is the shadow talking. And am I not? The shadow? You know, these past cycles, you've made an honorable effort. Tried your best to correct my course. But I don't know if it needs correcting. And if it does? Could be too late. Could be is a very winding path. Long way from where I was to where I'm going. That is my hope, that there is still time. For? Corrective measures, the writing of our path, the cleansing of your shadow and a return to the light. Why'd you pick me? It doesn't work that way. Was I special? You are all special. 
seems to contradict the word, don't it? Not in my estimation. If we're all special, are any of us special? Is that what you want to be? Special? <laughs> you dismiss, but it is a very serious question. Is that all you're after? Is all of the death worth that badge? Am I not already more than the rest? Looking at you here, now, the smoke, ash, and bone at your feet mark you as so much less. Maybe. And yet here you are. Meaning? You have been at my side every step of the way. Where else would I be exactly? Yet you disagree so thoroughly with my change in perspective. If only the change was simply one of perspective. Your evolution was no choice. This is not you having come to an understanding after careful considered thought. This, this is corruption. The shadows? The darkness. Maybe so. There is no maybe here. And you think you can save me? I rekindled your light. It falls first to me to aid in its survival. I tire of it. You must try. I tire of you. Razel. That is no longer my name. I will not speak the other. It doesn't matter. This is where we part ways. I will not leave you. I'm leaving you. Without me, your journey ahead will be more than any one guardian can handle. That's the point. It's been some time since you saw me as worthy of walking among those I once called brother and sister. Yet, anymore, I feel as though I am worthy of so much more. Without me, you will die. Someday. Won't be the first time. Consider this my last good deed. I am releasing you of the burden of my deeds, both done and yet to come. I will not abandon you. You will, or I will carve the light from your shell and leave the carcass of my first and last friend in the dirt of this dull, red world for no one to find. Then I have failed you completely. Not me. Maybe the man I was. He is truly dead. I believe so. Belief is not fact. Semantics I no longer have the patience for. When you speak of me, use my proper name. Tell them of the man that stands before you, not the ghost of the hero I once was. You will always be Razor Azir to me. If you cannot let that man go, you will forever taint his legacy. All the good I have ever done will be washed away in the fire of who I have become. If you care, there is still some promise within you. If I am being honest, I care only to give hope to the frightened, huddled masses so that when I come upon them, they will have more to lose. You're a monster. I believe so. This may be farewell. But you can only run from your sins so far. In the end, you will die alone. Maybe so, but I'm gonna tell you, I tend to like my odds. Your tainted rose will not always save you. Old friend, it already has. I would watch Jaren's every move over the past months. I'd never seen anything like him. He was something I couldn't comprehend. And yet I felt I understood all I needed the moment I'd seen him. He was more than us. Not better, not superior, just more. Eventually Magistrate Loken would become fearful of Jaren. Not fearful of him, but fearful of his loss of power over the town. Loken's men found Jared Ward in the courtyard where this had all begun. You question me? This is not your home. This is our town. My town. Not anymore. Ha ha ha. 
those gonna be your last words? But Yours, not mine. And the rest of my life began where, in a few short years, so many others would be ended. The stranger, the other, arrived at the following day. I was intrigued by him as I was Jaren when he first arrived. Just like Jaren, I wasn't afraid. Not yet. Until one day. The day of Palamon became Ash. Jaren! Jaren! Ah! <laughs> and there he went, leaving ruin, and a heartbroken, terrified boy in his wake without a second glance. I didn't know it then, but I would come to realize there was a reason the shadow showed mercy on that night. The remaining survivors of Palament would strike out for vengeance against the shadow, following the footsteps of a true shadow, we were. It all just started to feel like a never-ending dead end after a while. Jared never wavered though, not one time. It was his drive, his conviction, that kept us going until one fateful night where that spark would be passed down to me. It was the fourth evening of the seventh moon. Nine rises since any sign. Trail wasn't cold, but lukewarm would have been an exaggeration. Jaren decided to make camp for the night. It would be his last command. Three familiar rings, the last word, Jaren's sidearm, his best friend. Then another. Jaren was gone. Such darkness. Impressed? Far from it. To each his own. His light is faded. His light is gone. You are an infection. I am that which will cleanse. You are a monster. An old friend once saw me as the same. He was right. And had we met earlier, so too would you be. You dare defend yourself. All you've done as anything but monstrous. No more than a hurricane. Then you're a force of nature? I am all that is right. You may not see it for lack of looking, but I am all that is good. His cannon. Nice piece of hardware. Well worn, but clean. Smooth hammer. It was his prize. Guess he put too much faith in the wrong steel. Is that where your faith lies? In steel? Not for some time. My steel is only an extension. My faith is in the shadow. Then my light is an affront to all you are. I am your truest enemy. One of many. Would you end me? Nor you. Not now. The shadow knows mercy. The shadow knows no such thing. Then what? The other. What other? The dead man's charge. The boy? You'd end him as well? If it comes to that, we'll see. I won't let you have the child. Been long enough now. Think maybe he's a man. You cannot have him. Here. Take it. Give the apprentice his master's sword. Why? It's a gift. You cannot have him. You fear for his light? He... Is special? Yes. I am aware. You're trying to tempt him. You're feeding his anger. The gun is a memento, nothing more. You claim to be a vessel, a hollow shell where once a man stood, but that is just a lie. The man is still in you. There is no man here. 
I am now and for the rest of time only dredging your. Hide behind whatever titles you wish. It's all still a facade. No force of nature would play such games. Games? The cannon. You wish to tempt the boy, to spur him on and fuel his rage. There is intent there. The actions of a man, monstrous, mad or otherwise. You're nothing more. And what value does your conclusion bring, flawed as it may be? That a hurricane can only be weathered, not stopped, not redirected. A force of nature is uncaring and without intent. But a man? A man is none of those things. A man can be killed. And there it is. There what is? A sliver of hope. Knew this day would come. And with it, one last lesson. There's an end to all things, kid, good and bad. Sure, the best times seem small, and the bad tend to linger, but the only permanent is eternity. I'm off to meet it. If you're lucky, someday you will too. For now, though, You've got road yet traveled and lives yet lived. I know you've got hate in you, most do. The trick is to use it instead of it using you. But you know this, vengeance is a motivator, not the motive. The worst part about being a good guy, as much as you may want it, you can't always win. But that truth don't bother me. We do the right thing because the right thing needs doing. Don't hunt them because you've been wronged. Hunt them because what they did was wrong. There's a world of difference there, kid. One makes you selfish, the other makes you a hero. And I see a hero in you. And with this last good lesson, a gift. It's yours now, till the last flame dies and all words have been spoken. Your friend, Jaron Ward. been a while. He looked different. He seemed now to be weightless, effortless in an existence that would crush a man burdened by conscience. My gaze remained locked as I felt a heat rising inside of me. The other spoke. The gunslinger's sword, his cannon, that was a gift. An offering from me to you. The heat grew centered in my chest. I felt like a coward the day Jaron Ward died and for many cycles after. But here, I felt only the fire of my light. Nothing to say? All I'd lost, all who'd suffered, flashed rapid through my mind, intercut with a dark silhouette walking toward a frightened, weak coward of a boy. The fire burned in me. I've been waiting for you, for this day. Many times I thought you'd faltered, given up. But here you are. This is truly an end. Reflex and purpose merged with anger, clarity, and an overwhelming need for just that. An end. I looked down at the dead man who had caused so much death. He never raised his cursed thorn, the jagged gun with the festering sickness. I thought back to my earliest days, of Palamon, of Jaren. I paid one final tribute to my mentor, my savior, my father, and my friend. Yours, not mine. As I closed my grip, allowing Jaren's cannon, now my own, to have the last loud word. Will you fight them? The shadows. Those who have taken up arms in the name of your. The hope is they're more careful than their inspiration. Do you believe that'll make a difference? No. Then what will you do? What needs to be done? <laughs>